Hello there, this is Ron Wills coming back at you with yet another video. Don't compare your body build to that of a movie star. Now this is very key because you know what, when I talk body gain, you know, a lot of people automatically think the movie stars build. You know, they automatically think in like that super build and not necessarily the bodybuilders, but you know, Henry Cavill, Jason Momoa in the movies and everything. And, you know, I can understand that and, you know, it sells tickets and all of that. But here's a reality. <laughs> Here is a reality. You can't. Because, and the reason why I wanted to talk about that, because you don't know the work that they put in to get their body built. Now, yes, of course, I talk body game, and but what if I say, I say get in the best shape for yourself, get in the best shape. And really, to be honest, it's more about your frame. As long as you got a good frame, if you got generally like a V frame, a generally a, B, a V frame, or you got good shoulders, good arms, uh, you know, nice chest, as long as your stomach ain't hanging like totally over, like some women like a little bit to play with, you know, just a little bit though. Uh, indeed, some women like more than that, but hey, it's still the body. You know, it, as long as you got that, it, as long as you got a good body build, I put it like that, good, you know, it look like, you know, you active, you're good, all right? Regardless if you act more slimmer or even bigger. Like if you're a big man, that works for a lot of women. Just look like, I say big man, look like an offensive lineman or defensive tackle or something. You know, don't, don't look like the blob. I'm just being real with you. As long as you got a good solid build, somebody will like it. But don't compare it to the movie stars. See, a lot of times people will see the movie stars, but they don't know what, they, they'll see them on screen, but they don't understand what goes into it. First of all, when you see those bodies, and just real quick, I thought about that because I seen a, a picture of Jason Momoa. Not Aquaman Jason Momoa, but just regular. And he still had a good build, but he didn't quite have those abs and everything. And which is actually more normal. Let me real quick about abs. According to a personal trainer, they're kind of rare. It's like maybe one out of 20,000 men will actually have those defined abs. And it takes a lot of work. Now, yes, there's some guys, they just work hard, work hard and get that and get that tight body like that tight. But the key word is work. Now, getting back to the movie stars, people don't realize, OK, they train in twice a day. They on specific diets. They on very specific diets. And it's like and then even when they film, when they film, they got their shirts off. People don't realize they might not have, uh, they might not have ate, eaten anything. In fact, I think I remember Henry Cavill saying he might have gone a few days without really drinking anything before he like shoots a scene with his shirt off. That's very important to understand. So basically, it's an illusion. It's an illusion. I mean, yes, you can get that, but look at all the work you have to do. Because one of the things is, yes, I promote body gain working out, but then think about something. You still got to go to work. You still got to go to work. You still got to eat a regular meal. You know, you're not in a contest. And indeed, let me, let me go on a tangent real quick. Because you get some people thinking, well, if I get my body fat down to four or five or something. Yeah, that's, let me, yeah, that's not really healthy. That's not healthy long term. You let some fitness competitor or something do that. Because if you get it down that low, you can actually have problems. Um, you can actually have erectile dysfunction issues. You still need a healthy dose of fat. I say 10 to 15 percent. You still need a healthy dose. Yeah, just keep that in mind. <laughs> just keep that in mind. So don't go crazy with it. And indeed, some women like, like I said, they like a little bit. They don't like it too tight. You know, but whatever the case or whatever the case, the movie stars are working hard. And then there's reports, reports now of them using performance enhancing drugs, you know, not necessarily steroids. Now, I don't know for sure. Now, I've said publicly, don't assume just because you see a guy built like that, he's using that. 
But those are just regular guys. You, and you get some guys just have those good genetics. But even then, you notice they ain't really built like they are like in the movies. I mean, they got everything shaved and everything like that. And even some professionals who got bodies like that, like male exotic dancers. Um, I'm gonna tell you what, with a male exotic dancer, they have nothing else to do but to work out most of the time. Most of the time. Most of them, that, the really good ones, that's their full-time job. So they can spend the time in the gym. Because I used to, uh, at a gym that I was doing some sales at, we had a whole crew of male exotic dancers and they'd be in there for a while. Only good thing they would give, they would, uh, you know, stack their own ways, very polite. Only interesting thing is whenever they pay for something like a drink, they give you dollar bills. So you took some money from them. You'd have to go to the bathroom and wash your hands. <laughs> but here's the thing. When you're looking at those, buy, uh, those movie stars, that type of bill, that type of bill, that's intensity. That is intensity, you know? Somebody that was, that's pretty much their job, their job. You got to work out hard. You got to be disciplined as hell. And that's tough. Now, like I said, a good body build. Like when I'm talking about the body game, women checking out the body no matter what. But you can still have a good workout. Like in that mornings, I work out two hours. I do, and it's primarily lifting some cardio and stuff. And just real quick, as you get older, because I'm in my 50s, for all the 50 year olds out there, Yes, you want to do some cardio, but not that much. Uh, contrary to popular belief, cardio is better for endurance. They don't actually lose weight if you're trying to lose weight. It makes you sweat. The best way to lose weight is resistance training because muscle will burn fat while you're sitting down chilling. And especially leg exercises. Leg exercises, you do hit those legs. Don't skip leg day. That'll burn fat while you're just sitting down chilling. But even then, you know, it's tough. You're talking about it, that intensity that, you know, the, you know, the movie stars, they be perfectly cut. If you see what they do and they get like high, you know, highly trained personal trainers, they got to be real disciplined in eating. Uh, like I said, with some of those fitness models who get, you know, or bodybuilders who get their body fat really off, eh, well, they probably ain't messing with no women during that time and that off some no fat thing either. <laughs> you know, they probably, it's, yeah. So anyway, don't compare it. What you want to do is build for the best for yourself. You want to still be in enough, sh let's put it like this, here's a general thing. You want to be able to, I say, routinely lift between 50 and 100 pounds, just casually. Like if you got a box, you can pick it up. I say at least 50 pounds. And that's especially if you're doing like blue collar type of work. You want to be able to move stuff around. And you also want to be able to walk around. You want endurance, like general endurance. Like I said, if you're doing cardio and stuff, it's better for endurance than to lose weight. That's why you get some people do cardio, cardio, cardio. They don't lose any weight, but you want to do it for endurance. You want to stay, you want to, you want to have that general frame, but it don't have to be like a Superman or Aquaman frame. Because trust me, they're doing a lot of work, taking some stuff they probably don't need to, and they're making some money. Indeed, uh, if you look at uh, like one actor, Christian Bale, that's a great example of an actor who he goes to extremes. He, you know, he was pretty buff for when he was doing the Batman movies. He got big for when he was playing, um, um, you know, Dick Cheney. And then one movie, he was just totally emaciated. They be going through a lot. And it's actually a problem with them. It's actually a problem. There's been some uh, reports, like when those actors do those weight extremes, they actually messes them up. You still want to be healthy. You still want to be realistic. But whatever you do, don't compare yourself to a movie star unless you want to do a movie star's workout. Like we talking two hardcore, two a days, two a days hardcore, just totally changing your diet. Like you got to be disciplined as hell. You doing some hard work. Hey, yeah, but at the same time, you in the real world. You know, most of y'all should have at least a 40 hour a week job. I'm saying at a minimum. And you know, that's still more. And then if you're moving up, you're working more. If you got a business, you're working more. You know, you don't have time to be in the gym like that. Though I still say, you know, you know, exercise or something, a minimum hour a day. I would say that. 
but you know, you ain't gonna have that same intensity. So don't compare yourself to a movie star. Get in the best shape for yourself. You know, be able, be able to say, you know what, if somebody say, hey, walk five miles, boom. Somebody say, like, lift a minimum 50 pounds without straining, boom. You know, you wanna be able to do that. All right, and trust me, uh, women will appreciate it. You know, they're real, they're more realistic than people give them credit for. All right, but whatever you do, don't compare yourself to a movie star. So anyway, that's all I got for today. I'll get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings. <laughs>